In this video, necessary parts will be added to the ZY plate and the rails will be installed on the Y axis rail support. Insert three screws at three inches in length in the three top holes of the ZY plate. To make sure that these screws stay in place, add three nuts, one to each screw. In the following steps, we'll add the bearings, the V-groove bearings, and the hardware that's necessary to keep the bearings in place. This will require four 3 8 inch screws at 2 inches in length. Assemble as shown. The very small washer that is put between the large washer and the bearing is to allow free movement of the bearing. Otherwise, the large washer will rub against the side of the bearing and not allow it to turn. The bearings on the back of this piece will be used to ride along the Y-axis rail assembly. The bearings on the front will serve as guides for the Z-axis rail assembly. Next we will add the mount for the anti-backlash nut. Use a quarter inch screw at one and a half inches in length. Add a cross dowel to the mount and fasten the two together. To prepare the anti-backlash nut for mounting, use three number six screws measuring at least one and a quarter inches in length. Number six screws will be a loose fit as compared to the screws shown in this video as these are M4 screws. Position the anti-backlash nut onto the mount and add washers and a nut to each screw. Slide the assembled ZY plate onto the Z-axis assembly that has been created earlier. Thread the lead screw into the anti-backlash nut as you slide on the ZY plate. If the extruder is already installed, it might be easier to remove the anti-backlash nut assembly while sliding this assembly onto the Z-axis rails. In this next step, we will add the Y-axis rails onto the Y-axis rail support piece. If this piece came from the kit, there will be quarter inch holes and you'll need spacers, which are provided, uh, to provide the correct hole size for number eight screws. If this piece was produced from plans, the hole size should be already size for number eight screws. Position the rail so all of the holes are aligned. Uh, 
Insert number eight screws measuring one inches in length. And be careful not to push out the spacers as you insert them. Consider starting with two screws and then add nuts to hold the position of the rail while putting in the rest of the screws. Repeat the same process for this rail, however, um, prior to adding the nuts, you will want to add a washer between the wood and the nuts so adjustment can be possible. Now the y-axis rail can be positioned between the bearings, the four bearings, on the ZY plate as shown.